Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and it's time to kind of go through a chest rig loadout video. So I haven't done one of these in a while, and my chest rig's kind of always changing, so I thought it would be kind of time to go through and see what's currently on my chest rig. Uh, so to start the chest rig itself, this is my chest rig, this is the Spectre. Uh, I've done a whole video on this before, you can check that out, go over the website. You can even get one if you want, you can buy one. So anyway, uh, going out with what is in here. Uh, starting on the front, so this is just six mags right up front. Right, and that's the loadout that this one uh, carries. So carry six on there. Uh, over here on the right hand side, uh, my right, uh, when I, as you're wearing it. So I have a tourniquet in this little elastic loop pouch. This pouch, I just use as a general GP pouch. Uh, I think in here right now is my thermal. Um, but usually this kind of, this pocket just kind of floats. Sometimes I put water in here, uh, sometimes the thermal rides in there. If there's just something else that I need, that's just kind of what I keep in there as my general kind of purpose admin floaty pouch of whatever I need. It's, it's general purpose. I have my knife back here. This is the Cold Steel SRK. Yep, SRK. And that I have zip tied to these, uh, little loops. Let's see if you can see that right there. So. I've just zip tied that in so that the sheath stays when the knife comes out. And that has worked super, super well. In my map pocket, I don't think I keep much. Uh, I have a permanent marker in here because you know, sometimes you need that. And then I also have my gear checklist uh, that I keep in here. So when I wanna go through PCIs and PCCs, I just have that ready, readily available. Coming over to the left side of the chest rig here, I just have a chem light that's stuck in there. I keep my gloves on a plastic carabiner connected right there. This is my IFAC, right, marked here with this nice little cross symbol, and then another tourniquet over here on the side as well. That's again, held in by that elastic. Make sure again, you can see that elastic loop held in there, okay? Uh, oh, and I keep electrical tape uh, just paracorded in over here on one of the uh, the elastic loops on this side of the, this GP pouch. So I just have that mounted in there. This is the T-Rex Arms uh, kangaroo pouch. Been testing this out. It's kind of a dumpy-like pouch to keep going. Usually I have a mag in here when I'm going out, and that's the mag that will go in my gun. And then, like I said, I have the six, six up front. So I've been kind of testing this out. Not sure if I like it yet or not. Sometimes it'd be kind of difficult to feed the mags in, but by and large, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. So we'll continue to test it out and see, see if I land anywhere solid. Uh, on the back, nothing else to add except my radio. Uh, so I, I run my little radio with a little stubby antenna. You can see that there. Uh, this is just the Baofeng uh, GT3WP, WP standing for waterproof. And then I run that up to a little push to talk that mounts on my harness. Uh, I do have pre-threaded through here, a little auxiliary cord that I've threaded through the sleeve on this chest rig here. So that uh, the bottom of that auxiliary cord here can plug into my push to talk and then the top can plug into my headphones, my ear pro. So I can have, you know, silent communications. And if not, if I'm not wearing the right ears or whatever, I just grab this and go, then I can always just run it off the push to talk. So I like to just keep that option right on the chest rig and that way, uh, you know, I have it. Cause I've forgotten it before and this way is hopefully I will forget happen or not forget to have it. So that's really it. Uh, chest rig's pretty simple. I like to try to keep it pretty slick, pretty slim. I don't know if I've weighed this one yet, um, but I'm, I'm probably under 15 pounds would be my guess. Uh, honestly, I'd have to get the scale out to double check, but and you know, in general, I like to try to keep things as, as light as we can because carrying weight sucks. So hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you some ideas. That's what I currently got on my rig. I think I've got it pretty dialed in now. I don't foresee a lot of changes, but you know, it's always open to change because that's just how it be. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.